Alléluia, Alléluia, Alléluia. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Blessed be the name of the living God, the God of Israel, El Shaddai, Almighty God, God to whom nothing shall be impossible. The Bible says all the gods of the nations are idols. They are useless. But our God made the heavens. There is a God in heaven. The true God who made everything we see around. I'm telling you. I am not a product of evolution. I was made in the image of my father, the living God. In my good day in theology, I was made, I was fearfully and wonderfully made. My name is Ezekiah, your friend and man of God. Today, I'm talking about nothing shall be impossible with God. Nothing shall be impossible with God. We go to school, uh, we train students as a faculty, as a university professors, as a university professor, we train students we equip them with skills so that when they graduate, they can go into the world and solve problems with their skill. Mathematical modeling skill, computer modeling skill, statistical modeling, many, many skills. They come to college to acquire those skills and they go into the world to apply those skills to solve problems and they make money. So everything we see around us, establishment of hospitals, right, is to solve health problems. Sending kids to, to school is to give them good futures. In USA, for instance, if you don't send your kids to school, especially elementary school, primary school, and high school, you are in trouble. I'm telling you. So today, I'm telling you that Nothing shall be impossible with God. All the knowledge we go to college to learn, they are limited. Science, technology, engineering, mathematics, STEM, they are limited. They cannot solve all problems. There are a lot of troubles in this world that we can solve scientifically and medically. But with God, <laughs> nothing shall be impossible. Listen to this song. There is no mountain that we can't move. When I say we, I mean Jesus and I. When I walk with Jesus, and he is mine. There is no mountain that we can't move. There is no reduce that we can't solve. When I say we, I need Jesus and I. Wow. When I walk with Jesus and he is mine. There is no reduce that we can't solve. There is no sickness that we can't cure. When I say we, I need Jesus and I. When I walk with Jesus and he is mine. There is no sickness that we can't cure. Generally, there is no problem that we can solve when I say we, I need Jesus and I. When I walk with Jesus and He is mine, there is no problem that we can solve. The Word of God from Genesis to Revelation is full of miracles. Mary, the mother of Jesus, 
it was both conf confirmed in other religion that Mary gave back to Jesus Christ without the seed of man, miraculously. She was very, she was less than 19 years old. She was even less than 18 years old, according to theology. And the angel of God appeared to her and said, you are going to have a baby. She said, how come? I'm, I'm a virgin. And the angel told her, the power of God will overshadow you. And miraculously, Messiah will be born in your body. Jeremiah the prophet was in uh, captivity. Beyond all hope, God told him to go and make preparation to buy a land in Judah. How come? He, he, he challenged God. You've told me, he said, God, you, you've told me that I should go. I should go and buy land. How come? And yet, the land is under what? Has been taken captive by Babylonian armies. And God told him, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too difficult for me? Daniel was put in the lion's den and the angel of God shot the mouth of lions. They couldn't touch him. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were put in what? Fiery furnace. And the hotness of the fire was converted to what? Air condition. That is beyond science. There is no science that can explain that. How can you quantify or experiment the pattern of the Red Sea? There are a lot of miracles. God is too much. Everything God has done since the beginning of the world till now. We cannot even put all those in the Bible. God does give us the Bible, Genesis to Revelation. And it is enough. What we have in the Bible is enough, more than enough, to deal with the devil, to make heaven at the end. All the ways of God. We can't put everything in the Bible. There are a lot of things that God will tell you that you will not straight off see in the word of God. And it is the voice of God. This God, my Father, nothing shall be impossible with him. Whatever he says comes to pass. See, I've studied a little bit. Some math, some computer science, some systems biology. All this knowledge, they are subsets of what? The knowledge of the word of God. Only the word of God is unlimited. Go for the word. Start declaring the word of God in your mouth. Start respecting the word of God. Start waiting on the word of God. How can you ensure that the word of God works for you? Patiently read through the word of God. Carefully, prayerfully, purposefully declare the word of God over your life situation. The condition you are passing through now is not permanent. God, my God, I know, is not training you with joblessness. God is not training you with tuberculosis. God doesn't have university of cancer. My God is not the creator of HIV, COVID. It is the works of the enemy. God doesn't train his children with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. God doesn't train his children with bipolar disorder, attention deficit, all these troubles, depression. They are from the evil ones. And that is why the Son of God was made manifest. That he may destroy the works of darkness. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. And by the blood of his cross. The plan of darkness over you, I cancel them in Jesus name. The Bible says, upon this rock I will build my church. The gate of hell shall not prevail. The power of darkness, your household witchcraft, household enemy. The power of Satan, they shall not prevail over your health, over your children, over your destiny. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I pronounce the name of Jesus around you. Christ Jesus in you, the hope of glory. Christ Jesus in you, the hope of glory. Jesus in you, the hope of glory. My name is Ezekiah, the man of God. Please share this video.
God bless you.